Hi, hey, welcome. My name is Tumas Emanyuk. I'm located in a community called Ivuivik. We're in the northernmost community of our province, Quebec. Over here, no one owns a house. It is impossible. They're too expensive, too complicated to maintain, so we rent them. The variety of houses that we don't own, that we cannot own, is enormous. And regardless of the number of people staying in the house, the cost of the house does not change. The cost of each house depends on the size, room numbers, with a factor of your income. And since buying a house is nearly impossible, we exchange places. Some of our children move to other houses, and sometimes our elders move to our house. So the number of people per apartment vary. It is unfortunately not unusual to have an apartment crowded with people in the Arctic. So this is our situation today. We're not able to modify these houses because they do not belong to us and we don't have the resources. In our region, in the Arctic, we do not grow trees, we do not manufacture metal, plastic and house components. These houses were not adapted to our needs. How was it in the past? How did people in the Arctic address their needs? We had snow houses called illu, half dome. So imagine you have a, a base and then you add to it because you want a place for your dogs or you add another section for your extended family and you keep adding to address the needs of your relatives, your family. Each community had groups of families that made their own snow houses addressing their needs. We had the resource, snow. Unfortunately, we cannot live like that anymore. So what do we do? Let's take this idea of adapting our houses, our dwelling, to address our needs. Imagine being provided a basic dwelling and then you can invest improving it. You add an extra room for your children, you add extra rooms for your parents or extra room for water, a garage providing extra heating. Or maybe you want to grow vegetables, you want to have a room to process food and to dry them. A dedicated greenhouse room to, to fight food insecurity in the Arctic. A secure room for your hunting equipment. If you want to do some artwork and promote economy, create your beautiful artwork and sell them. So once the house is, has expanded, what do we do? If, let's say your children move out or you don't need the rooms anymore. You can sell them. You can put them aside so you save on power, electricity, and gain space outside. So it's always flexible. And what is good about these modular houses is these modular rooms would be stored locally. We would not need to order from the south. They, we don't need to import so much anymore. We can perhaps maintain them ourselves, promoting economy. We can pay local people, local businesses, to install them, to maintain them, or to take them out. We will gain a bit of power, a bit of autonomy. Since we're not able to grow trees, make house components, at least we can have our modular rooms that we maintain ourselves. Now there are things to consider. The modular buildings will have to respect a grid. There will have to be a standard. We need electricity, liquids, air to pass through the same grid. So when we put the rooms together, everything just flows. They're easy to connect. We would save on time and money installing them. And the house components will be the same. Same for all the houses. We have a backlog of material that are not compatible with some houses. When we have to fix things, we need to order special parts that were not designed 
for the Arctic or parts that are not compatible with our older houses. It becomes expensive, time-consuming, and discouraging. These modular houses would solve that. So what I'm excited about modular dwellings is that we would have buildings designed for us, us first, not profit first. We could have our own rooms, we could have a room for our hunting equipment and a place to work on our snowmobile in winter. We could have a place for some artwork production promoting economy. And why not make buildings specifically for special activities in the community? Yeah. A, a recreation center for adults, um, a, a market, or, or things like that that change size depending on our needs throughout the future.